Hello everyone and welcome to this short video. My name is Jan Bergerhoff. I'm a co-founder of Candidate Select. We are out there to make higher education degrees more comparable worldwide. And today I'm very happy to show you our new product for India. India will be the largest labor market by 2030. And if you look at the development of German students, you see that um, there's a huge increase in the number of German students and um, Germans are certainly very happy about that. But it really pales compared to the increase of Indian students. In fact, if you look at that graph here, you hardly see the number uh, of German students increasing because it is so dwarfed by the increase in Indian students. And Indian students are um, very happy to um, also apply for jobs abroad and lots of German companies and lots of international companies receive many, many applications from India and um, it's very difficult for them to often understand the quality of degrees, the quality of the higher education. India has more than 10,000 higher education institutions and so I, we thought it was really time to build a product to help recruiters better uh, to better understand degrees from India. And we had this idea for quite a while. In fact, we were in India, in Bangalore in um, 2018, and we were at the Bangalore Tech Summit, and we were desperately looking for partners who would help us find some Indian data. And um, we also spoke to some politicians here, uh, economics minister um, from the uh, state of Karnataka, and after quite a while, we found good Indian data. And so now I'm very happy to present to you what we've done. In India, when you are applying for a um, STEM degree, STEM, science, technology, engineering, math, um, also computer science, you need to do a university entrance exam. And um, there are different kinds of university entrance exams. Most states use the JE mains exam. And on the right hand side, you see a um, example question from a JE mains exam. And I think you, um, I'm very, I'm very impressed when you can solve it right away. I think you see that this is quite a, quite a challenging, um, uh, quite a challenging example question. And generally speaking, this kind of exam uh, has a high, very high standard and it's comparable to um, yeah, a technical uh, secondary school exam in Germany, but also in England, the US, um, in other countries. And um, what we do is we went from uh, state to state to state and we looked at the different uh, government documentation about the results of these level entr uh, of these university entrance exams. And um, so uh, we, we compiled a huge database where basically for every sub for every program um, we know what result in the level entrance exam was required to enter that program. And um, here's an example from, from, such a, from such a document. Here we see there is a college, Tadumai Shanai Engineering College Bandra, and uh, we know um, what score from the, or what, what rank from the university entrance exam was admitted to that program. And we use that information to basically distinguish between what is a, um, very challenging program and what is not such a challenging program. And that in itself presents big news because um, that means we can cover more than 14,000 um, programs, 14,603, and compare that to the status quo today where you only have a couple of rankings about um, Indian institutes of technologies, about some very well-known Indian institutions. This span goes far beyond that. And uh, we hope that we, it will be, it can be used to um, understand degrees from many, many more institutions much better and then have, uh, um, yeah, make it easier for Indian students to apply. Um, and now we are seeing an example of how the scoring works in practice. Um, we start on the platform case-score.de 
and um, we choose India from the drop-down list. You can see there are also some other countries. And um, we begin with an Indian Institute of Technology in Roarkee and um, choose a year and choose a subject area and also choose a grade. We do not have grade distributions for India, but we use then a national grade distribution, um, which is not as precise as a local one, but it's still um, a good factor. I mean, you see that then um, it matches automatically and you have a K-score of top 8%. And you can use that in a comparison to other um, candidates. And um, we do a second example where we now do not a, a Indian Institute of Technology, but we do Parul University um, in uh, Vadudara and um, we use a bachelor in um, 2019 and we pick a subject area. In this case, we are picking mechanical engineering. And um, after that, we use the grade again, and then we're gonna see our uh, matching process in action. Um, you click add and um, it takes a second and then you see, okay, it has matched. And this is not as good as the previous one. So here we have a K-score of top um, 76%. That means 76% are better and 24% um, are worse. And so this is less competitive than the previous example. And um, what is also maybe interesting to know is if you are a large company and you have an applicant tracking system, um, you can have this functionality included in your applicant tracking system and then the scoring just comes automatically. That means you receive an application, um, your Indian applicant puts in the degree um, he or she has and then you get the um, analysis, the case scoring uh, into your applicant um, table immediately um, at the point of the application. So when you do the CV screening and you do the sorting, you have that information ready to hand. In fact, you don't only have it for Indian degrees, you also have it for um, German, British, Italian, Spanish and Portuguese degrees and hopefully later this year you're going to have it for Chinese degrees as well. That was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the short video. Please keep um, supporting us so that together we can make education uh, more comparable and fairer worldwide. Thank you so much.